Lois uh, is going to share another testimony with us. Uh, please welcome Lois up this morning. Good morning, family. Um, most of you know that I just got back from Idaho a couple weeks ago. Um, I went out to visit with my mother who is, um, has Alzheimer's. It's a very difficult um, disease and a very difficult thing to go through with someone that you love. But um, God pulled off a tremendous miracle for me, um, not the least of which was getting me a hotel room or a motel room for half price um, at the hotel that I really like to stay at. Um, so the first morning they have like the little breakfast thingy and I went in to have breakfast and I saw the woman who works at the front desk kind of running around the front lobby area and I was just inspired, put the little quotes around that, I was inspired to go introduce myself to her. So I go out and I talk to her and I introduce myself and the first thing out of her mouth is, I really like your cross. <laughs> So, of course, um, we discussed the fact that we're both Christians. Um, we discussed many things. We talked about this church and how blessed it, what a blessing it is and different things like that. I gave her the website um, so that she could listen to teachings because we were just talking about the Holy Spirit, and she wanted more information on that, and we just had the teaching on Pentecost on the Holy Spirit. So I suggested that she listen to that, and the next time I saw her, she was like, you didn't tell me you were from Rhode Island, and I'm like, uh... Yeah, it's on the website address. <laughs> but um, she thought she heard an accent from Victor. Now, those of us that live here know better, but, <laughs> but, but she thought she heard an accent. And come to find out, she's originally from Brockton, Massachusetts. <laughs> so it's kind of, kind of interesting. But throughout the course of the conversation, we were discussing the situation with my mother and how my brother, I'm so blessed and thankful for him, um, has quit working and is staying home with my mother 24-7. He has someone that comes in from 7 to 9, three days a week, to help her get a shower. Um, but that's it. And so that's the only time that he gets to get out and do anything is from 7 to 9. He can't even make an appointment to go do anything. You know, and there are many things that he needs to do when your mother gets to be this age and you've got all these things going on. He needs to see a lawyer. He needs to do his own things, see his own doctors, different things like that. And he just doesn't have an opportunity, let alone mental health time. So I've been trying to encourage him to spend money to get someone to come in, even if it's like once a month. But I was talking to Jenny, that's her name, about this, and God inspired her to volunteer her own time two days a month to come in and watch my mother so that my brother can take the time that he needs to make appointments, to get mental health time, things like that. I am praising God for what he has done through our sister Jenny.